everyone. So let's talk about Frutas. What's happening in the IPO? Should you buy the IPO? I'm gonna talk about it dropping its IPO price from 199 to 1.68 pesos per share. Second, I also want to talk about Jollibee and Timohuan. They're now expanding into China. Then we're gonna talk about the top stocks that you guys requested. Check this video. Everyone, this is Marvin Germo. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and smash that bell. We're now nearing 54,000. The road to 60,000 is very, very close. Thank you so much to you guys who've been subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this content. It means a lot to me because we need to see more and more Filipinos be financially free. Hey guys, so I'm starting this new segment. I don't know if it, this is something that I'll do regularly or this is something that I'll do also on a weekly, daily, or even monthly basis. But I want to start off with giving out um, stock updates on certain things, random musings on what I believe is happening on the market or if there's certain disclosures, uh, what does that mean? Or it's also based on the questions that you guys sent out via social media. So at the end also, I'll try to add some stocks that you guys requested because I know you guys love stocks by request. But this video will not be purely a stock by request video. The goal of this also is just to me, I, I don't know, I just really want to share my thoughts. And uh, over the past few days, I, I had the ability to, I've been learning on how I can edit the charts very, very fast. And I've learned also techniques also on how I can create massive number of content on a regular basis. So I get to experiment and get to share different types of videos to you guys as well. So let me know if this is something that you guys like. This is me also answering some of the questions that you've sent out, but not in an Ask Marvin uh, type of setup. First off, I want to address the question about Frutas 1.68 pesos per share. So please remember this, the whole details of the Frutas IPO, I already have a video uh, regarding it, the proceeds, the money, the company. Uh, you just have to go and search Marvin Germo Frutas. It, it should come out there and I hope it gives you the right insight for it. But please remember this, uh, number one, it used to be 1.99, it dropped to 1.68. And it's been a prevailing team, no? Since uh, Axelom and All Home, they've been dropping the IPO prices that they've been, uh, that they've initi initially set for. Please remember that companies will always try to put the highest amount, the highest IPO price that they could set because their main goal is to raise as much money. The higher the valuations that they put, the higher the money that they will raise. So it's also, it's always normal for them to try to put a higher uh, price as possible so that they get to raise a higher amount of money as well. It's the job of us also to be prudent enough or to be responsible because it's still our money. It's up to us to decide whether this amount is something that fits us valuation wise and this amount is something that fits us in terms of the growth of the company because at the end of the day and i keep saying this in all of the trainings and the videos that i've been doing you only make money you will only uh, benefit from what the company will be not based on what it did in the past but based on what it will be in the future and you have to figure out that uh, from what they will do with the ipo please remember in the video that i posted it's a combination of growth um, some money that will be placed on their operations and expansion, plus also debt repayment. So you have to look at based on that combination, is it something attractive enough for you that if you want to hold uh, the stock for the long term, will it be a company that will uh, somehow grow still based on the price that you're buying it for? Now, people think that 1.68 is a low price. Please remember this. Having a, a low stock price does not mean that it's cheap. It will always go back to the valuations of the company. So my suggestion, I posted the EPS already. Just compute the EPS versus the price that they're selling it for. Is it something that's attractive for you? This is a company that's in the food uh, store business. This is something that's directly directly into consumption. This is something that also, they have a lot of consumer brands. So you have to check. Is the, is the brand name also worth it? Do they have enough brand recognition? They also have a lot of competition. Uh, food carts, there's so many food carts out there. So that's one thing that you need to consider. Are they a strong enough brand that they're, they're, not, they're not like Jollibee, they're not like Shakey's, they're not yet like Max, that they're really very, 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 very strong brands already that people won't think twice about going to Jollibee because they know what Jollibee is. Top of mind, that's Jollibee. Top of mind, when you say Sarap to the Bones, you already know that it's Max Fried Chicken. So things like that. 
does frutas have that ready? Does that it have the command that it's top of mind ready when it comes to food carts? Is it top of mind ready in the spaces that they sell? They also have a milk tea brand. Uh, I posted it in the previous video. Is their milk tea crushing it up against a competition? Is it crushing it up against chat time, up against uh, tiger sugar, up against Coco. So that's how you look at it. If they're trying to attack the massive brand, I know Alex Gonzaga also has a uh, milk tea brand it's called Happy Cup. Is it as strong as that? Are they doing much, much better? So those are the things you need to consider also, not just because the price is lower. That being said also, uh, this is a very, very small IPO still. Uh, as what I've been saying over and over and over and over again, that smaller IPOs, uh, smaller amounts raised normally move up faster because there's just a less smaller amount of shares that are moved up so uh, that are just being bought and sold so there's a there's a certain portion of people when they buy those shares they don't sell they just wait and that being said when they just hold and they just wait you just have a few shares just moving around and the thing about that is if there's just a few shares moving around it's just a supply and demand play uh, more buyers bring the prices up more sellers bring the prices down but Always, I keep saying this over and over, you always buy based on your own analysis. Do not let me tell you what to buy. Do not let other people tell you what to buy. Because at the end of the day, it's your responsibility to know the risks and the rewards of what's happening in the stocks that you want to come into. Now, another consumption company. Jollibee just made a disclosure also uh, just a few days ago that uh, I don't know if you know this, but I've been saying this at Jollibee. Uh, bought Tim Ho Wan last year. I'm a big Tim Ho Wan fan. I really believe Tim Ho Wan is one of the best uh, dim sum brands in Southeast Asia. And they're bringing Tim Ho Wan to China. Please remember also that uh, China, there's so much dim sums out there. There's a lot of authentic dim sum uh, uh, brands, companies, or even those local chains that are just there in Shanghai. Uh, Shanghai is an amazing place. The Pudong District is such an amazing place. It's just like New York right now. So amazing. But anyways, they're starting. They're, they will put Tim Ho Wan in uh, China. Uh, they're going to start with Shanghai and they're going to put it in other uh, provinces also in China. So one thing that we could watch out for is this. Uh, how big of a... How big of an input will this be in terms of Jollibee's earnings? How much will they get an upside of this after? Please remember that Jollibee's main goal is not just really to grow the Jollibee brand. Of course, Jollibee, Jollibee and Manginasal is still one of their greatest brands still. But for them to become a global play player, they have 5,800 stores already. Uh, as of this point in time, they're still far from where McDonald's is, but that's their goal. They want to be where McDonald's is. They want to be where Subway is. They want to be where Starbucks is. For them to do that, they have to build uh, a, a plethora of brands outside the Jollibee brand as well. So if this pays off for them, China is one of the largest uh, retail and consumption markets in the planet. So if they do it well, and because Tim Ho Wan also has a large brand recognition, this could be a positive for the company. As you all know, uh, Jollibee's earnings last year wasn't so good. Eh? Uh, third quarter, uh, disclosure wasn't so good. Their earnings for the quarter is down. Their earnings for the year is also down as well. So uh, allow me to keep you updated on how they turn it around should they have the ability to turn smash burger and uh and coffee bean around i placed a video about it based on what the chart's saying also so you can just search it's one of my latest videos you can check that out as well uh jollibee by the way is still for those who just want to see the charts jollibee also still bearish for the short mid and long term and as it started to just continue to break down if you are a position trader you can still wait until we find a reversal for the stock as well so now let's talk about naman, some of the stocks that you wanted me to analyze from a charting perspective because you all know me i'm a big fan of technical analysis and i really believe that everything you need to know is found on the charts as well so for those who sent out uh your questions your videos about what stocks that you want me to analyze here you go so hey guys i want to talk about the stocks that you guys requested here are just some stocks that you guys sent out uh, I'm going to do this as a combination to this new segment and I hope it adds tremendous value to you. So I got questions about IRC. If you look at IRC, here's the quick range for our IRC. Uh, the resistance is at 1.55 and the support is at 1.31. The reason why it's not going up yet because it just hit the 1.55 resistance and it's starting to fall down. The 100-day moving average continues to uh, show itself as a resistance also for the stock. So one thing you need to figure out is this. If it does not... If it does not hold this level, the 1.4, it's trying to uh, develop some sort of 
uh, buying in that area. But if it does not, it will just go to 1.31. If it goes to 1.31, possible narrative is it springs, board, springs forth back here. So the name of the game is 1.31, 1.55 target. That's 17.9% uh, uh, trade. Next, let's talk about Globe Telecoms. For Globe Telecoms, it's now already at the resistance, right? Over here, it's already coincided also with the 200-day moving average. Let me remove the volume first so you see it clearly. So uh, please don't be surprised if Globe does not go up over the next few days. It's primarily because it's at the resistance of 1948. So that's a possible retracement. Possible drop from 1948 level will bring the stock down to uh, the 1757 level, and it's a 10% decline. So for those who bought at 1752, this is not. It's not bad. It's not wrong to take profits because this is a resistance demand altogether. I repeat, it's not bad to take profits if it fails to break out of 1950. Uh, it's not bad to take profits. It may retrace back to 1750. If it does break out, though, possible uh, movement for the stock is it will go to the 2200 level. So that's how you can segment, and that's how you can pick, select, and trade. Uh, this stock as well. I want to talk about DMCI, DMC, DMC, uh, as you all know, is continuing its progression downward. It's still on the midst of a downtrend. If you uh, segment this and you zoom out here, it's still uh, similar to what's happening uh, towards Jollibee that's still continually pushing down. So until uh, DMCI gets out of the downtrend, you can't really expect a clear and full reversal for the stock. And your goal, your narrative is just really to uh, wait for it until you see clear signs of reversal come in because at the end of the day, I, we don't know where it will go. The goal of technical analysis is never to guess. The goal of technical analysis is never to speculate. The goal of technical analysis is not to figure out where it's headed but just to base everything on what the charts are telling us and the charts are telling us right now that the MCI is still in a downtrend and that's what I like about it. I don't have to guess. I don't have to speculate because everything I need to know is found pretty much in what the charts are telling me now let's look at metro bank for metro bank uh the stock just broke out from a resistance level if you look at it here a very very good breakout from this level and it tried to also form no, uh, a huge rounding bottom also here for those who are into chart patterns this is what it tried to break out from uh, next resistance short-term resistance is could be pegged at 69.15 so if you see some hesitation uh, right now here is because it's close to the 69.15 level, but breakout from 69.15 uh, will bring Metro Bank to the 73.56 level. Failure to break out of 69.15, the possible retracement may bring the stock back to 66.5 pesos per share. And some sell signals that we're seeing is RSI crossing down and the MACD is showing us a cross change in direction downward as well. So there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment. Tim Hoan, comment Jollibee if you like Tim Hoan and Jollibee. Comment Frutas if you believe Frutas will crush it this IPO date. Or if you're going to buy Frutas as well, comment. Send your questions as well and I'm, I'm going to make as much videos as I can for you. Or if you guys have stocks that you want me to analyze, just put them on the comment uh, comment bar or comment uh, or wherever you want to put it. And I'll, I'll when I read it, I'll make a video for you guys as well. So just a quick plug. I'm having Stock Smarts Monday. That will be our last Stock Smarts session for the year where I will discuss technical and fundamental analysis, the rudiments on how you can trade, how you can invest, and how you can make your money work hard for you using the stock market. It's in the description. The link is in the description. I hope you guys can join us. I hope you guys can uh, spend the time also not just to spend your bonuses, but also use it to invest in yourself because at the end of the day you are your greatest asset so that's it for now this is marvin germo continually making content this is my third video for the day but i just want to make content for you guys because i really believe that education and youtube is one of the best ways to get my message and my thoughts out there and i really would desire that you guys be financially free i really hope that uh for those 53,000 of you guys subscribing 54,000 na malapit na 54,000 of you guys subscribing that this this channel starts something that it will springboard you to the next level and thank you so much for those who've sent messages that uh that you guys have been learning a lot from this and i'll never stop no uh, i think people talk about purpose people talk about uh, doing the things that you love this is something that i love but above and beyond that i really believe i'll never stop doing this because this allows me to uh change the narrative of how filipinos live their lives because filipinos deserve so much better so that's it for now marvin germo i hope this video helps you trade well trade strong trade smart see you all again soon guys and god bless you all